I got my mic, so I'm going to unbox it and set it up today. So I have a few mics that I'm using right now. I have Elgato. Elgato. Um, I forgot what was it. Elgato D. I had this Razer microphone before. Uh, this is... <clears throat> 3.5 mm. This one is the first time I'm using the XLR cable. But what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna unbox this and try to set it up. But I hope I don't have much to do with it because I already have my Wave XLR that is connected with my Elgato mic. I'm just gonna unplug this from the Elgato mic and just gonna plug it back in. I'm not sure this gonna this um. Uh, the mic frame, the stand gonna hold my new mic or not. I hope it does, so I don't have to buy a new one. But if not, I don't know, I might have to get a new one. Or I have to redo the whole thing again. So, okay, it has a little cover outside. And there's a tape, got a box cutter here. Let's do this. I'm not a dedicated gamer or either a podcaster. So I got a little Velcro that has the brand name Shuri on it. Might need it later. This is dual side tape Velcro, tiny itty bitty one. I don't know what to do with it. This is the adjuster connector with the arm and the mic, I guess. And we got, what is this thing called? Close. Talk wind screen, okay, just to isolate the background, I guess. This thing is huge. Wow. Huge compared to what I have. I mean, this one didn't come with the, the Elgato mic. I separately purchased it from Best Buy. And I was using it for... No, I was not using this for this one. I think I got two, two on one packet. There were two, so I had, I was using the other one on this Razer microphone, but this was just sitting. And then after I bought the uh, Elgato microphone, I was using this, so it just perfectly fits and looks more nicer than just having it open. But yeah, uh, so I guess this is better one really thick and it feels more the one I have with my Elgato it's feels more soft and this one is more sandy anyway we got our mic I'm just gonna take this out okay styrofoam more styrofoam more what the hell is this for Okay, what do I do with this? I guess to cover up something. So let's go ahead. These things. This is really heavy mic. Okay. Oh, it has it there. It's on mic. I mean the uh, the wind, wind screen, whatever it's called. It is yeah. So. Do I have to go with this again? Damn, that's gonna be so so thick. I I hope it will work better to isolate my voice to make it crispy. If this thing goes in here, oh it does. I think it goes in here, guys, just to close it up. So I think I have to unscrew, undo the two of the screw here, and then close it up. If I not using it or I don't know what is this for I have to look at the manual what these things usually actually do because I don't have any professional um, experience about the mic or any podcast or any I'm not a singer I'm not a podcaster or I'm not even a dedicated streamer but I want to make my voice more crispy and oops got a little dented so now let's see 
let's uh, set this everything on side. Let's try to fit. So if you guys can see this one, I have the web XLR from Elgato, and I have the Stream Deck from Elgato, and I had the mic from Elgato, and also I had the cam link from Elgato, and I also had the Elgato, the mirroring device. I don't think it's going to fit in my mic, I mean the arm, but I'm going to try my best to make it possible. Oh, I get it probably does fit, but let me find something. Okay, back with the tools. Well, there we go. Hardware stuff just to fix the things. But anyway, I don't think I need this little adjuster or whatever it's called because it looks like I already have one here from the Elgato. If it works perfectly fine. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so heavy. So heavy. They what? Oh, it's right here. Okay, so there is pin, three pin, and I have to just face it up and just click it. That's, um, you're gonna hear a sound. There we go. Clicks perfectly. I hope. It's gonna work that I don't need to buy anything, but how this thing gonna hold? Like actually this thing is really heavy that I did not expect. Okay, I might have to tie it really hard. So that way I don't have to buy anything. Oh my God, I hope I'm not gonna break it. Anything else? The mic is heavier than arm. Okay. Hopefully it handles. What if I do this? Go down? No, perfectly. Perfectly. Perfectly fine. It looks a little congested, but I'll fix that thing later. Okay, so it is connected, but is it supposed to have some lights in here or anything? Hello, 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 hello. Okay, let's check. I'm not sure how it's gonna uh, sound, or I'm not gonna do that right now because it's gonna be a long video too. I am expecting not to edit the video, but I think it works perfectly fine because. I'm going to pull my stream lab to the different screen so you guys can see the mic movings right there. So here. Um, I'm just going to leave as it is for now as the EQ goes, as far as the EQ goes. But uh, I will test it in my stream first and see how it goes. Uh, beside that, everything I was thinking this thing's not gonna fit in my my stand but it looks perfectly fine i'm not gonna buy anything okay so it's kind of kind of heavy than this one it's like i mean this one is heavy too but this is like way heavier than this elgato so okay guys okay let's so this three mic this is the razor i mean cheaper than the elgato one I'm still the best. I used this for like a couple of years. There was nothing wrong with it. And I got this um, Elgato mic maybe less than a year ago or something. This is the first Wave XLR. I mean, the XLR mic that I got. I didn't even know like what XLR is or was before buying this. And also, this is the my third mic that I'm using. All right. Thank you, guys. I'll... I'll you guys will see how it will turn out different between my two mic the quality of the mic maybe it's going to be better but thank you uh for watching and i'll see you in i'll see you in my next video